consider there. So I add one, two steps. Mm -hmm. Touch today. You don't like the touch today, but if she can live through this. Only one foot then. Yes. She just worked something out. Mm -hmm. She worked that out. So now you're alright, Ray. Yeah. No. I'm just happy to eat. No. Uh -huh. Today is a big day, a big day for a horse, a big day for the horse's owner, and family, a big day for me. Uh, lots of people, lots of people are, are, are interested and hoping this goes well today. It's, uh, I wouldn't say it's the last chance to learn for this horse, but it's 28 year old mare, losing condition. She's been a brood mare, um, eight years, uh, current owner Rihanna and she's had her for eight years done you know done everything she can to try and show this mare that humans aren't aren't that wicked and the more she's tried I mean she's managed to get a long stick with a ball in the stable they can herd her into the stable and they've managed to to, to like put the ball on her but uh, that's about it now her teeth really badly need doing she's losing condition just dropping out her feed is and uh, so the, 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 what else and um feet obviously need doing so yeah normal circuit this is very different this is normal circumstances a lot of people would would um would put her to sleep okay if someone said they were doing that with her who am i i i, I wouldn't I'm not in a position to object to that. And in a lot of cases, it is absolutely the right thing to do. This is a little bit different. It's not just a matter of this horse. It's Rhiannon and she doesn't mind. She, I've asked her, she do, she's almost asked me, because of mental awareness, because of mental awareness, um, Rhiannon suffers with, is it, what is it, Tanya? M.E. M.E. and other... Um, problems and a severe depression and whatever and she tries to help people um, by bringing awareness to it now this this mare means everything to her it's only her having horses and she's got an absolute bunch of horses uh, finances are not fantastic but she just does whatever she can to rescue horses it gives her a focus uh, and without the focus things things wouldn't be good at all now this mare is almost a part of an eight years and she calls her the old girl and she'll do everything she can to keep her alive as long as she can and have a good end into her life because she hasn't had so far the best life so it's more than just the horse so we're here now tanya we're just pulling up now yeah. and uh, wish me luck guys i um you know obviously finances aren't great but i am doing this I need to do this for her. Yeah, we're not charging her. Uh, no, no. We're doing it for the good of the horse. Uh, the good well. of the horse today and Rhiannon. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I have got to eat. I have to charge. But sometimes there is a situation where it's more than that. So I don't think we're going to do it in one visit. I have been once before. I came just to see, thinking I would give her the news that she probably didn't want to hear. But it was late in the day. I couldn't continue. I, I, I did manage to touch her. Um, so, yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. We'll go and uh, see Rihanna now. And uh, I have formulated a plan. Let's see how it goes. Uh, okay. Okay, so the little, the little rescues. Mm -hmm. You see them in the field? Yeah. Okay. Condition and um, um, she's, uh, you can freeze there. 
setting up the non-escape hatch now. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So what my plan is, I look at her. Yeah. There's Rhiannon's got quite a few horses here. Uh, would you say they're rescues, Rhiannon? Uh, there's quite a few unwanted ones. Un <laughs> yeah, when they're unwanted, you sort of do the best you can for them. Yeah. Um, okay. So, what I've, if, if you have a look here, Tanya, that's my kit that I bought today. Uh, what's here is, uh, I think I'm going to have to uh, rope her in there. And obviously, if you're roping, then you've got to have a, you've got to have a, a, a knife. Um, oh. Just in case. Okay, so there, there, there's my kit that I bought. I've got a couple of, uh, Rhiannon's got head colour as well, but I've bought a couple of different sizes. There can't be rope holters left on. Um, there's reasons for that, that, you know, they won't break if, if she got caught up in anything. We do get as far as getting the head colour on, but these will break if anything really, really badly happened. Um, I've got my knife there, which I might need if I'm roping her, if something happens and I need to, to, cut, to cut the rope. Uh, I've got a couple of carrots, a couple of, a nice lick there, a sweet lick uh, that I might utilise. At, at one stage, we've got my hoeing in stick, which I might have to use at length uh, uh, to touch up. So that's that. Now, what um, I'm going to do, uh, this might surprise a few people, if I grab these t shirts here, my, this hat. So, I've got a couple of t shirts there uh, and, uh, and another hat. Now, that big horse there is, is it, is it Sid? Sid. Sid, that's Sid. Uh, of all the horses here, and there's quite a lot um, of unwanted horses that Rhiannon's took in um, uh, uh, and gives gives a life to. Sid's the one that they that she sort of bothers with the most. So what I'm going to do is I probably smell like a steak to her, not like a horse. Okay, so she's going to you know what's going to definitely help, and I've had this help before. Uh, I'm going to rub my shirts all over her. Fortunately, she's not so wet now. I'm going to rub, rub my couple of t-shirts all over, under her belly. My hands, I'm going to nuzzle her uh, so I've got a little bit of a smell on the hands. So I'm going to do two t-shirts and then I'm going to change, to put the t-shirt on, change my cap uh, and then we'll make a start. So that's, that's the plan. <laughs> Joe, that was good timing, I missed that. <laughs> huh? I missed that. Get some of his muzzle. So I think I noticed they were grooming each other. Yeah, it's the first time I ever caught them grooming it the other day. Yeah, yeah. That's a good thing. You've got a moustache. <laughs> There's a horse I worked recently. Mm. Tanya, what was the name? We're going back Holly's, to Holly's, we've got to go back there. Yeah. To do another horse for her, but the biggest moustache on that. And she cut it off and it came back. Oh. <laughs> it did. Right, so I think I've got a good, like, I mean, so she, she'll smell that. Now the other thing is my hands. My hands, like I say, I'll smell like some kind of big old steak to her. Horse. I think you smell like Sauvage. That's Sauvage. I didn't put any Sauvage on. So, do you see that? I've my hands are sort of picking up his scent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, she's hoping will help a little bit. Right. Okay. So that's that. Uh, yeah, I'm putting this on. Yeah, come on, <laughs> take your shirt off. <laughs> you'll uh, you'll go weak at the knees. Re re well. Remember the abs, Tan. Je <laughs> Remember the abs? Dum. The dad bods. What's that? Um, hang on, I'm thinking of a. I got you one, sex thing. You I got one big thing. ab there. I believe big, it. One, one big belly ab. Right. Look at my sex so. god day. <laughs> right then. So, that I didn't do. I'm going to just rub my cap. Then. Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to do first, I'm not going to use my rope yet. I'm going to go in 
I'm going to take my flag in with me because there's something people need to know who are going to watch me with what I'm doing today. Brianna has said what a nice nature. What is her name? Pearl. You might have to remind me that name once I'm in the heat. Pearl. Pearl. Right. The problem is, a horse's nature is, and most of us have heard it, fight or flight. Okay? Now, it doesn't matter if it's the most wonderful, lovely horse in the world. If you still cause a horse to have no flight, it's in their nature, they cannot help themselves, they will fight. Okay? Um, there's a horseman that I spent quite some time with, an amazing horseman in his own right, called Len Joe. He's an Australian uh, clinician. Uh, uh, he's, he, I met him in California. Uh, and he's gone back now to, to live in, in Australia. He's a genuine, what would you call him, a crocodile dundee with horses type guy. Uh, as authentic as I've ever met a guy. Uh, what he used to do in Australia, on the ranches with the Brumby horses, uh, virtually wild horses, they'd go out, and he, he was a real life bull catcher off a horse. And pull down. If you muck around too much, he'll get his wind back, and then we're in some big problems. And I don't know if anyone's ever seen what, what takes place. They actually gallop. They gallop after the bulls through the brush and they jump off the horses onto the bulls. These are big, yeah. man-killing 2,000 pound bulls. And then they've got a system where they pull the tail and they go over. Unbelievable, I, 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 I've done research into it, it's incredible. And he's a real life one. And I remember him once telling me, he was working with a horse in California. He says, Steve, you've got to be careful with, with, with this kind of horse when you're cornering them. And what can happen is, and he explained to me about the wild brumbies, that a horse can kill a person like a bat. It can do it in several ways. We don't understand really at times what, what I mean, they're like cuddly big, big bears, aren't they, to us? But he has witnessed people be killed in Australia in a split second with a horse. Now a horse can use its front feet in a split quicker than we can even think. So if you corner a horse, you think everything's fine, and then before you know it, you, 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 you can die from one, Call from the front, but it can headbutt you in a split second. The heads are 300 pounds. They know how to use their heads. They're very careful around us, aren't they? But you can imagine a 300 pound head hitting you. It's like a wrecking ball. Our heads are on the You know. Uh, obviously, they can kick with the back feet. There's a pointed kick and a flat kick, a pointed double barrel kick, and no human can take it. So, I don't want to scare anyone with this, I'm just saying, I don't want anyone, I don't want to be responsible for someone getting hurt, having a bit of a, a wild horse, going in the stable and doing what I'm doing. Nah. So basically you what you're saying, don't try this at don't home. Don't try folks. this at home in a big way. Mm. And I'm, you know, I am putting myself in risk, even though Rihanna has said how lovely she is, and I know, I can feel, she just wants to get through the day, don't she? But you've got to be aware, fight or flight, yeah. 28 years old or not, she's still 1,100 pound in weight and can take me out like that. So I've got to be very careful because to get anywhere today, I've got to pressurise her. She's going to realise she can't, she can't flee, she's in that little box with me. So I've got to be very careful. You know, at the end of this day, hopefully, there's going to be a halter on her, which she's never had on. No. Once the halter's on, she'll feel my confidence and we can move on. Once the halt is everything. Once you've got control, then you can work, work from that, okay? So in other words, so I'm taking this in because if I feel at all threatened, then I, then, then I, I, I can do something with my flag to move her away from me, if needed be. Or my rope, I'm not gonna say my rope in yet. Okay, so we're gonna give that a quit for one minute. This is gonna be a very long video, so, so I don't like to, I hate, all of these editing videos, you don't see the truth, and I try to not edit. 
this will have to be, you know, anything that I, we think will help, will, but there will be lots of editing because it will be hours and hours long. So it will be condensed to a couple of hours, yeah. hopefully. Uh, anything that goes wrong, hopefully I'm okay from it, but that will be in. And all the good bits, the teary bits, if we can get that far. Yeah. Okay? So we'll quit now for a second. Think you might have a fag for me, <laughs> so we'll have a cigarette. Oh, no, I knew that was cool. We'll have a cigarette. Stop going for you and let me. Oh. For me, <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> right, okay, yeah, so we'll have a break for a second now. It's basically happening uh, because of her teeth. She just not, not eating now. And what can happen with a horse this age? She's lost condition and it can get to a point, and it's not that far off the point where there ain't no. Well, it's very difficult. So I'm going to go in here now, and I'm just going to chill out for a few minutes in here with her. Um, so, okay, sorry. Okay. okay. Now, what I'm going to do is keep myself real calm. I'm not going to be too uh, bashful, too timid. I'm going to be deliberate in what I'm doing because she'll feel more confident from that eventually, me being more deliberate in what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start moving her around. I'm going to move her forward here. So I'm going to move her out of my space. So I've moved her out of that space there. Okay. Do you want to sit in a bit more or not? Uh, yeah, you could do actually. So I've moved her out of my space there, okay? Bearing in mind, some people might think to themselves, well, you, you, you need to be so gentle and that. Well, there's been eight years of that, really. Yeah. Eight years of being really, and it's got nowhere. So we'd have to change something. Um, so now I'm gonna move her from that spot, okay? So I'm gonna take that space there. So I took that space, okay? So I'm starting to, to establish. Are you, have you noticed as well, She's keeping me on her left side. Um, have you noticed that, Ray? Yeah. It's only her left she feels com comfortable she, to me. I noticed that last time. This morning I... she did face me and have me in two with her eyes. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, now I'm going to take that space. I'll put her out of the way there. Um, again, she's in that eye. Now what I'm going to start to do, because that, that, that's, she's not as panicky as I thought she would be this second now. So she's remembering when I popped in for just a little time. Uh, was it two weeks ago? Week ago. A week ago. Okay. Now I'm going to see whether I can get to face with her eyes on me. Um, there. She's just, <laughs> she just did. And she took one step to me then, which was, which was good. Uh, that stomach's are churning again. That's a good sign. Did you see that? She walked. She walked towards. Yeah. Which again is a good sign. And I've got her in the other eye now, so that's good. Okay. So now I'm going to see whether I can face her up to me a little bit. So I'm going to put a little bit of pressure and a little bit of pressure here. A little bit. Now I'm going to shut my eyes the second. My eyes shut the second she turned her head. Then. Now she's got me in the other eye. So I'm going to do nothing for a second. She'll feel the need in a minute to get me back in, back in the other eye. Right. So there she looked at me. I just backed up slightly. Now I've got one eye. Now she's turned the other way. So as soon as she looks at me here, I just released her. Now I've got one eye. Now there's one eye there. Like I say, this is very, 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 very dodgy for anybody to try this. I think I need Soon to she move a sack. I can't. Looked at me with two yeah. eyes. Now she's got two eyes on me. I now it's so. one. So she's got to figure this out now. There. She gave me two eyes and she just. So she's got to get. The first job get her to really know fleeing is not the option. Just split second there, 
no pressure, she looks at me. Okay, now I'm in a bad eye. She doesn't feel too clever there. I just wanted to. So a bit of pressure. I just wanted to. Keep the pressure going until she can consider there. So I add one, two steps. So the important thing is she always turns herself away, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. So she's got to know the release of any of the pressure is towards a person, okay? So I want her to... And she's loose, she's not tied. There, one, I had one step there, you might have missed that. Did you see that? Yeah. One little step. Uh, one eye, pressure, two eyes, no pressure. But it's important I don't put pressure on for the two eyes. You with me? Yeah. So there, her head's, her head's coming, isn't it? See her head's coming there. Yeah, she's following you all the way Follow down. me mentally, but she can't come through with her feet. Pressure, pressure, no pressure. Ah, there, mm -hmm. just for one split mm -hmm. second there. And look, <laughs> you see? Good girl. Right. Now the way you get rid of that, easy killer, easy. There. <laughs> Just wanted to follow with a foot if I can. Come on, make it with one foot. Make it with one foot. Make it with one foot. Really? Really? Closer than I thought I'd get, actually. There, did you yes. see her come with one foot then? Yes. She just worked something out. Mm -hmm. She worked that out. So now, you all right, Ray? Yeah. No. I just have to eat it. No. Don't start me off now. Yeah, yeah we'll all be bleeding out. <laughs> it doesn't take much for me to go, you know. But still alive. <laughs> but like I say, I can't stress enough. You can't try this at home, guys, because this can really see if you get your hair. Um, so, okay. okay guys well at this point things got a little bit emotional um, and uh, how can I explain it Re, cause Re, Re was getting really upset and I you know I, I, what she said to me and Tanya was they were happy tears and that there's hardly ever happy tears um, which really brought it home to us you know how much this meant so we um we had a little break and to be honest what re said you know with her mental illness and everything that she would write something down for us which she's done uh, explaining more about she couldn't really tell us exactly what was going on but uh, she really wants people to know uh, and to listen to her message really so Tanya's going to read that out now for me. She's going to read the message out and it'll put, it make things a little bit more, you know, explain little things a little bit more, you know, about Rhiannon and, uh, you know, she really wants to help people. So we said yes. So Tanya's going to read it for me now. This is an email off Rhiannon. I have suffered from chronic mental health since around the age of 11 years old. I had it earlier but from 11, I developed an eating disorder to control how I was feeling. I first self-harm and took an overdose at the age of 13. I have struggled through life until a serious mental breakdown in 2019. I have since been the worst I've been in years. I am not ashamed of my mental health and would like to change and educate people of what it's actually like to go through. The ponies are my lifeline. They give me routine and a reason to get up in the morning. 
I have taken in several unwanted horses and tried to give them the best home I can. I have a very supportive family, so when I'm ill, they all rally around to help out with the horses. I also have ME, also known as chronic fatigue syndrome. It is a long-term illness. Generally, the main symptom is extreme fatigue and several related illnesses associated with it, such as pain, flu-like symptoms, amongst other things. I have had to give up riding because of its the physical aspect of it. It's far too tiring and leaves me extremely ill. I don't um, know the history of Pearl, but she came to me to retire eight years ago. Obviously something has happened to cause this reaction towards humans. Not many people would have taken in a feral 20 year old brood mare. So her future was bleak. We have now had her eight years. For a minute now. <laughs> now, if I offer her my hand, I've got a feeling she's gonna. We'll see, eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, let's offer my hand. Now, I want this hand to go away if she. Got it? No, it's not just me, it's my hand that's going to go away when she considers it. <laughs> you know? Huh? Because you're licked and chewed. So the hands now go away. She's always been threatened by hand. A hand has been a different thing, hasn't it? So I uh, offer my hand here. There. When she considers my hand, it's going to go. So I wanted to start thinking about following my hand, if that makes any sense. So I leaned in there too much, that's my mistake. Uh, I'm starting to like quicken myself up a little bit here, there. Uh, she... Right, there, ah, oh, she loaded up and she came. <laughs> she came, right? Now, let her think about that. So the hand now is starting to be a little bit of a draw. So there's, I've got to keep pressure going now till she, right? And there's the release of pressure. So loads of people are going to learn something from this. That it's, it's the release, that's all they want is no pressure. Okay. So. Just that's it. Alright, you getting this? I've got to watch it and turn. Turn it back on me. You see how she's so much more comfortable in this eye though? She hardly ever. She starts to breathe, breathe more when she tries the other eye. Mm -hmm. um, so I, these head colours, the, the halters, because we do always do everything from that one side. Yeah. Right. And sometime in her life, she must have had something done that side for this to be. Um, you can get a, a, a famous horse trainer called Leslie Desmond. I remember years ago, she. She. He um, used to have right hand side halters done. Uh -huh. And she swears, that, uh, you know, her students used to have these and the difference it would make because you would always catch the horse the other side. Yeah. Because the halter, you know, we always, we always catch a horse on the left side, don't we? Mm. But these halters are dealt the other side. And I thought at the time, oh, that's just 
annoying. He said, I can't be blooming right, it's good stuff. So, you know, we might look at that, Tanya, having some halters. Yep. The other side, especially with one eye, if you, if you sense your horse is a little bit different in the other eye, and that can equate to riding problems, like they'll turn better to the left, because they're comfortable within the eye. Mm. A lot of horses don't turn very well to the right, because especially when you flex them quite a bit, there's only one, they're seeing you up there in that eye that they don't really feel that comfortable. So yeah, that's a good, uh, good thing. Right, okay. So I feel like I could, because I am gonna have to rope now, mm -hmm. you know. The, the, in the ideal world, I'd come, every, you know, I'd be here every day for a week and get this a bit better, so she was touching me uh, but there's that much to get through. Uh, you okay with me, Ropener? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. okay. So I'm going to basically move a little bit quicker in here now and uh, around because obviously, with me, with me rope and a roper, she's got to get used to me doing stuff, hasn't she? So I'm basically going to move around now. Until she kind of comfortable with that, or more comfortable. And it's also important when the hands have a loop on her that you never pull. A lot of people will 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 rope and then pull. Got them? Mm. No, can't do that when she's rope. Got to just let let that rope, let her just move around with a loose rope so it's not a shock to her. Okay. Well, I think we got half a chance. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, okay. If you want to pass me my uh, rope in time. Can you work? Because I'll keep filming. I'll have just a little break for a second, Tanya. Turn it turn off. off. Just get her used to this. There you go, mate. Ain't nothing. It's enough to make me pull. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is see whether I can um, lead around a little bit from this so she can have pressure and release when she looks. Right. There. I'm releasing for every step that she takes towards me. See if I can bring her towards me. One step, release. I shut my eyes then. One step, release. One step, release. Mm -hmm. Right then. If she comes towards me, release, 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 release. Good girl. Right then. Now the fact that she's confined, she needs to know that even though she's confined, I'm not going to ask her straight away for anything other than following me around. So she knows we've got a connection and I'm not hurting her. She, it's just information. Okay? There. There. Now she's 
Now, now, feeling a nice change there. As you can follow me around here. Now, thank you. Yeah. Now we'll let it calm down now. We'll let it calm down. But it's easier, I mean, I'm no roper, but it's uh, easier to treat. Don't know if you get a job yet. <laughs> On the ranch, yeah. <laughs> so we'll let her just, do you know what I mean? Because that's a big deal for her, that is. So she'll come up. Come on. So I'm only going to release this now when she comes. There. Release for the foot, yeah? Come on. Release for that. Release for that. Yeah, make it a bit closer. Come on. Come on. Come on. One foot. One foot. One foot. Just the thought then. Come on. So you really don't want to come closer. That's, if I can get one foot closer now and then there, and then just leave her alone. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get. She knows that if I'm up on here, I haven't got my feet. Okay, so if I'm up in here, while I'm a bit safer, she'll know that I haven't got my feet in here. Mm -hmm. They're that switched on. So, get up on here. I'm a little bit safer. All right, let's see whether I can bring her, bring her in. Come on. Come on. Oh. Touch today. You don't like to touch today, but if she can live through this. Yeah. Now we haven't um, we haven't done any sedation. Yeah. A re there's a reason why I haven't. Okay. You might need to give us. You know. You might need a little bit of sedation to move on. Yeah. If I sedate her, you know, if I can get it done without sedation. Then with a little bit of station, if need be, it'll make a big difference to Rue. Yeah. You with me? There you go. Now, see whether I can get her to, to touch my hand here. <laughs> and if you can touch it, and then I'm going to move away from it. Come on, kid. There. <laughs> Just a whiskers, that was. Just a whiskers, that probably meant quite a, there, she moved in easy then. If she can touch me again, there, that's what gets rid of me. Big deal for you today, eh? Can you get rid of me? Yeah, hand goes away. Come a bit closer. Get rid of me, there. Now usually it's like flea, innit? Yeah. From the hand. Now, just like, she'll get to know that that's, the release to to consider us rather than flee. There you go. Now, this is scary. I'm above you again, aren't I? We'll get you fit. We'll get you ridden, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> there. Now. Hey, look at this kid. Hey, human touch. Human touch. If I can just, oh yes, a little touchy witchy. Now I'm relaxing more now. I'm relaxing more. So, right, can you give me that lick? There. You okay? Oh, yeah. That yeah, take the top off of that. Now we'll see what you think of that. Can you sniff that? Can you grab this again? My film is going all over the shop. <laughs> you like that? 
Oh. <laughs> you like that? Now, I don't like using feed for things, but there's a time and a place for everything. Very rarely would I use feed, unless it's like going in the trailer and then setting it up. Setting it up in the trailer. All right. That's usually mesmerising for them, isn't it, now? Them sweet licks. All right, if you can hold that for me. Okay, right there. Come on, kid. There you go. There you go. Right, now she's letting me... Oh! So we're back to being able to touch her. There you go. Better think about that one. Got the lick again. Where's that lick? Kenny's got it. <laughs> no. Uh, can you put a carrot in there? Oh no, no. Put a carrot in there. See if she can. I've got a teeth, she might spit it out. Oh, she? she's loving that now. Ah, uh, then yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just see if you can uh, put it in half. Oh, there you go, let's see if she'll have that. Oh, she can't get it. Ah. Oh. Now, very rare again would I give by hand, but this is extreme case, it's either, you know, I'm going to use this to... Has she ever took feed from you by hand? No. Never, never managed it? No. Let's see whether she'll consider that. I mean, oh, oh, she dropped it. She'll pick it up Dumb it and damn it. Oh, she knows it's there. Right then, let's get her back here now. Right. Oh. Did she find it? Nice job. Mm. Right then. Okay. So I'm feeling. She's telling me that's not good. I'm saying that. Stop complaining, and then we'll. Uh... Okay. Can we? Right. Okay. Wow. She's never had anyone touch as much as that. <laughs> well, you've only done it on a stick, sticking a ball in, never? Yeah, that's close as we got. Oh, no. No. Oh. I wouldn't pat her. No. I'm just. Oh, she's letting me touch her now. Oh. Here we go. Licked and chewed. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Loose on her mouth. Uh, lick again. If I can get it to where she. She will enjoy this a little bit. I'll grab it for you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Head this way. You have a release. Come on. There you go. Do you want the fact she wants a carrot? Yeah. It's a carrot again. Give her a carrot again. Uh -uh. There you go, come here now. There you go. There you go. There you go. Lovely job. Lovely job. See? We're not that bad as humans, are we? Hey? We're not that bad, are we? Hey? Good girl. Hey? Be a game changer if I can get a hold on because yeah. then she'll know. I'm relaxed. I can get a sort of hold to broke properly with the, yeah. with it, with it. What's it on? And then, um... <laughs> now what I'm trying to do now is not be quite so. Oh, it's a gentle move. Yeah. So come on. We're all right. Yeah. So you know, I'm not. I'm being deliberate with my movements. I'm being deliberate, and I don't want a head. I am risking it a bit here because if she flings her head yeah, yeah. this way, yeah. then my teeth are gone. All part of the job. <laughs> I know some guys who do this and they have helmets and stuff and really for this, yeah, I would totally agree with that. Um, you know, and gum shields and all that sort of stuff, really. All right, mate. Yeah, all right. Right, now what I've got to try and do, bring her here, here, and I want to try and put this over her nose, if you can. So, she, so it simulates a, it simulates 
Head colour. And no, nose, nose colour. With me? Yeah. Right then, so. And flu. Uh, so, if I can get this over her nose, so I'm just going to keep on. Right. So, that's now simulates a head colour. You with me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, there you go. You see how I've done that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh -uh -uh -uh. Hmm? I was looking cold. That was a good one, isn't it? Is that then? Think we're getting somewhere now? Yes. Right? We'll touch your ears, touch your here, touch your here, touch your here. Another carrot. Another carrot. Lots of carrots for you, isn't it? Mm? Half again, or half? Yeah, well. Oh, lost that now. Come here. There you go. There you go. See? Ain't that bad. Yeah, ain't that bad, mate? Right. What we're going to do now, we're going to give her, it's all the little, the little breaks that's going to help. So we're going to give her 10 minutes now. So you know what that means? Fag break, isn't it? <laughs> Fag break. Okay. I've been being deliberate now. You know what I mean? I'm being deliberate because I have got to put the whole tray over. So, I'm going to get set down here now and uh, well, get out of hand. I'll turn this off, shall I yeah. now? A little bit of time for her to not keep moving away with that because obviously I've got to pull the halter up there, haven't I? I can get it there and then try and uh, tease her nose into it. Um, I'm going to leave that rope there now. So I've got two hands. Touch her nose anyway, yeah? mm. which I'll try, and if she comes this way, then that gets rid of it. So I've got to get her used to this now. behind there, she can tip towards me just a little bit, it'll go away. Can you do that? Can you do that? No. Right. So, if you can hold that now for a second, I'll get up on here again. Right then. Right. So, if I can have the hold for a minute, don't think we'll need that. Flag now.
Twisted. Uh, Just a bit, and that looks like it. Huh? Oh, I can un untwist it with another hole. Mm. I'll twist it. Right. Come this way. Yeah. Huh? It says precious on that head. <laughs> <laughs> it says precious on that head color. That's Steve's head color, isn't it? Yeah, is that's it. That, yeah. <laughs> Pink to make the boys wink. She just loosened up. She felt that in me then. Right, if you can get me uh, a clip on rope now. You want your black one? Huh? Want the long black one? Uh, yeah. And just give me the clip end. Just the clip end. That's it. That's it. Right. So we're now halted. So we'll try and take this off now. Uh, you'll feel that in me now. So if we can get this over the head. Now. Right, so we are now halted. Okay. Now we're halted. I did twist it though. Yeah. Over our bum. Right, let's move all this away. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. Huh? Right, I'm going to hold the breaker a little bit now. In here. So this chain. Where's that go? Oh, definitely. in a minute, what I'm actually going to do with her is straight away start to tell her that this is information. So I'm going to try and back her up. One foot, yes, thank you. One, she's going to start to realise. So I'm going to disengage her hind end. Stop her. Back, not forward. Back, not forward. Back, back, thank you. So I'm going to start exuding confidence in myself. Forward with the feet. Forward with the feet. And good. Stop. Back up. Legs are blocked. Back. Thank you. One foot. That's all. That's all. Forward. 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 Thank you. And soon. She can get rid of me pretty quickly if she just does what I want with her feet and my connection. So disengage your hind quarters. There, stop, stop, stop. Back up, thank you. And do this, forward, thank you, till she feels comfortable. Wait for her mouth to just drop off a little bit. I'm breathing like nothing at all, like it's nothing. We'll just wait for, for a second to uh, just loosen up a little bit. It's a real good sign. Dropped her head a little bit. Come on, you can have a little lick at that. Come on, you don't want to lose it. There. Right. <laughs> Same thing again now. I'm going to walk around, disengage her hind end, walk her, stop her, back up, back up, one, two, 
Loosened off. Signs are good. Signs are good. Signs are good. Right. So, can you go forward? Yes. Forward. Yes. See how she, yeah, she's not so good this way? See if I can get her to disengage. to firm up a little bit and say, no, you don't push through me. Mm -hmm. Look, licked and chewed. So I just managed to firm up with my space just slightly there. Can really help me, can really help me. So, I would say she has been lead, led around okay. from what I'm feeling. I know you've had her eight years and, and whatever, but, you know, if I only did a little bit of this, it's like she knows about being led. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Unless my timing was so amazing <laughs> that uh, I've got that done in a few seconds. But um, I don't know her previous history. Just yeah. I don't know her previous history. No. Just for the last eight years that she's been here. Um, okay. Well, let's see if we can. Put her in the eye, she prefers me in. No, unrequested forward motion. So I'm already, no, unrequested forward motion. Back up. No, unrequested forward motion. But to tell her, because if I don't at this early stage, she'll start being uncontrollable on the, on the halter. Mm -hmm. You with me? Once they can go forward, they go round you, round you, and you won't get near them, see? Yeah. So it's important there. She dropped her head. Um, now she's not so apt to, to drag forward. She, she'll forget herself in a minute and search. But now, for that, that's fantastic. Now I'm going to see if we can, you might want to come there, Tan. Mm -hmm. See if I can drop her. So this is going to start working for her. Um, so, a little bit of pressure. There, a little bit of give. a little try. The last thing a nervous horse like this would want to do is put his head down. They always there wide eyed and up. So if I can just show her there's a little bit of something in it for her to be down down and relaxing with me. So I'll put her under no pressure of anything when she's down here with me. But again guys you wouldn't do this alone. pressure and immediately she starts searching and drops just even a bit there. She's starting to go, can you see her eyes? Yes. Just a touch. Yes. Just a touch. Mm -hmm. You can just see a different kind of mm -hmm. feel to it. If she goes up, that's fine. So I'll just hold the pressure a little bit. Like there, she thought, what the hell am I doing? What am I doing? You know, um, so I 
to stick with this until she hopefully drops. There, just, just even, just the slightest try there. And there. nozzle till and she hated me touching her nose before didn't she yeah no oh my word look at that huh look at that look at that nice job timing was off then, did you feel it? I just, the time was just up there and it kind of frightened her a little bit. So she's learning to back up really well. And now, so almost her way of getting rid of me is here, not fleeing, you know? So if I go to touch her, and this was all built up, those, when I first came in, and got her her only release and the same with when I was on here is me. <laughs> now I'm gonna let her come forward now because I'm gonna ask her to come in. She has a drawer obviously to sit and that's what she's been asking me for and I've said yeah okay now but not when not on your terms when I she needs to know that I am um, yes I'm in charge of her I'm alpha I'm whatever they call it but in a, but but not gonna do her any harm you know so So, now what I'm going to do is see where I can get to with touching her, alright? See where I can get with touching her, now, so I'll touch her on her back, touch her on her, down her leg a little bit, uh, there's scars on her leg, means she might have had some stuff done with the vets, you know, she might not like that, um, yeah, she could stand that then, couldn't you? Uh, <laughs> right then, let's just touch her leg a bit further down. Yes. You know how she shivered when I first touched yeah. her? Every part of her body's going to be the same. It's all going to be new, all going to be, you know. Now I'm ready in case she does anything. I'm ready to do something about. I've already got enough so I can get off me now. Um, because she might stomp her foot and say, that's as far as you go. But no, she's just said, it's fine. Okay, that's fine. Wow, look at that. Look at that, kid. Look at that. That's amazing. Yeah, getting in there. And what we're going to do, I'm only going to go so far now. Because she has to process what's just took place here. She's got to process that she lived through that. So I'm going to come back later this week. We've got three jobs this week. So mm. can I let you know and then we move on? It will, it, it will be like starting over again to a certain extent for about 10 minutes. That's what I expect. Then I'll be back to this. Yeah. And then I want to try and get the other side. And, and I don't want to start asking her for the other side and touching her today. Mm -hmm. no, she's done your own She's done. I mean, look, she's halted up. We've got her halted. We can lead around. You know. We can start to touch her front leg. You know. Um, and obviously... If we were going to have a vet to um, sedate her, it would be here, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. So unfortunately, you know, it's going to be a little bit. When when the when she's sedated, it might be better to have me here, right, okay. just to try and help her out through it. Yeah. Um, that's what I think. Right. So well, that's the only last option. I was getting her teeth. Yeah, getting her teeth, and now she's going to die. She's, you know, you're going to you're going to have to do that. Uh, I'm just going to allow that because she's searching here. There, look at that, she just picked up a foot. <laughs> we'll bring her now, I'll oh, say so she can come to here. Uh, I'm gonna lose what I've got here. 
So, um, I would say, say yes, that's it, I think. Yeah, that's Is that it. right, Ray? Yeah. Perfect. We got it? Yeah. All right, I'll set this up quite high. I think that's about it. I don't think she'll get rid of that, mm -hmm. to be honest, now. Uh, now, what I... We need a bit of string or something on this. Yeah. Uh, something that's not too long, she can get it caught up, and that will break if she got, got it caught up. Do you want to bring him back up here? And we'll go and uh, give him a, a little something now. Give her a little something. Okay. Have you got your whatever it is? Um, yeah, she's got the vanilla. Sign. You know, we've done it in a way that hasn't completely upset you, see? Mm -hmm. by, by taking our time. Um, in some ways, we had to, what's called, flood a little bit. You know, when you flood them, you almost go past the point that they were worried about. <laughs> Somebody's found a carrot. Uh, uh, uh. Rescue, little rescue. You remind me of uh, Darcy. Darcy. We've had her 22 years. 22 years, you've had her. How old are you then? Uh, she's only 23. She was kept in the garden. Oh. Um, oh. And the dog used to bite her. Oh, oh right. She was petrified of humans and dogs. And now she's probably one of the most cheekiest ponies I've ever met. <laughs> no. There's going to be some times when you jumped on her. I know I wouldn't be that. I wouldn't have been able to not. Kids can sit on her. Yeah. Back. Yeah. She hasn't been broken in, but. Kids but can just let's. But this is a good way to end with her having her feed. She's not sweating. She's not. She's got the egg colour on. She just let out there. Yeah. Come on. Missy, come on. So. Come on. So that went. Really well then, Ray. I, I, you know, she's ended up having a little bit of feed with me in here. Yeah. She's got a head collar on. Yeah. You know, I, we'll leave it a few days. I'll come back. But, you know, I just went to touch her then, and she's shivering again. So it's going to be a lot of touching yeah. to prove to her that, you know, with those scars underneath that, you know, those big scars. Who knows what? Who yeah. knows what's happened? Yeah. And what it represented to her. You know, you don't know, do you? No. There you go. So that's it. Okay, this is the second day, two sleeps later. Love a horse, isn't it? Yeah. You can do this on your day off. <laughs> right then, how's today going to go? Let's have a look. All right, basically, I'll, I'll give you my plan. Okay, plan today. Is to go in, do five minutes, getting her to follow me round again. She didn't seem as nervous, so I've just gone up to the gate. She didn't seem as panicky as last time. So, my plan is to just get her hooking on again. For a few minutes and then I'm going to try and make because it's the hardest thing for Rianne on, uh, and Ken the hardest thing for them is going to be actually approach and catch once she's caught she's already shown me she can she can settle more she can settle she can accept a touch the biggest problem is I think over the 28 years and the difficulty in trying to catch this horse she's a master of our perception of our intent so 
she's avoided that at all costs, especially the last eight years. I mean, obviously Rihanna's tried everything and she's good with horses. No, no, no go. So she's a master at that. So the hardest thing is the actual approach of catching. So that's what I've got. Once I've got her caught, that's what I've got to work out a plan for Rihanna to be able to catch. That's, that's my thing. Once she's caught, Rihanna can work her magic and um, I'm sure things will get a lot better for the whatever years left. Um, pres pres what, 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 Pearl. 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 Wait, well, we give her the precious head colour. Now, what I will say very quickly, people who know me know I'm against hand feeding horses. Um, a lot of the horses I go to, the problems are because of hand feeding. Now, there is an exception. Now, um, Pearl's not going to be ridden, she's not going to be do much other than try and enjoy her days. So I'm absolutely, this is one of those, this is one of those times where hand feeding is really going to help her because there's got to be some positive in when for her to be caught. So hopefully if we can get the approach sorted and you'll see how I'll do that in a while and build on that in a way that Rihanna can hopefully catch, catch her. But every time this horse ever gets caught in the rest of its days, there will be a positive to it, and it will be a carrot or an apple. Um, that's 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 the plan. So there'll be some positivity in catching. Uh, so yeah, so um, it's almost like we've got to get it. So instead of being petrified of a human touch and the human species, it's got to be a change now that she's going to almost crave a human. And it's going to take a while and loads of treats for, for, for months. But I'll very quickly say that there's a, there's a famous horse trainer. It's the oldest, the oldest book in the world on horse training. It's called Zephanon. If anyone gets a chance, uh, it's a good read. And it's thousands of years old. And it's the Greek, the Greek um, horsemen who used to fight for their lives with their horses. And I always remember, it made a lot of sense to me, that how would they get these sort of wild horses to, to crave them? Because that's what they used to do. And they used to tie up their, now we would never do this, but they used to tie their horses up a soldier, tie them up, um, so they used to have an average of six horses each, back in the days of the Romans and all. They tied the six horses up, down where, like a stream, where there's lots of bugs and biting things and flies and horse flies, everything. And they put a load of fruit, it's terribly cruel. But they, this is how they did it to make the horses crave their, their, their human. They put a load of fruit down there and they just leave them being bit, bit all day. No water, no nothing. And they'd be really, you know, needing water or being bitten. And then the, once a day that soldier would go down to the horses, let them off, take them up to, a, to, to shelter, to, to uh, shade, give them their water give them their feed, brush all the flies off them. And they do that, and they said an average of two weeks, all those horses would crave the, mm. their human, their soldier. Uh, and that's, you know, that's how they did it. Uh, a very cruel way of doing it, but that's how they did it, and they relied on their horses for their life in battle. Now, it's not, it's not dissimilar, but there's no pain involved and no discomfort. But she's got a crave, Rihanna uh, 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 and Ken. So every time she ever gets caught, from now on, she, there will be something in it for her. So first job then, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna see if I can get her to hook on for a second, a little bit, and then I'm gonna make one place comfortable for her in there. Without really scaring her, but she does get scared when you're behind her anyway. And that place, do you remember, which, where, where do you think it will be? Any idea? I would have said the corner here. Here? I would have said the corner yeah. there. So that's going to become a happy place. So every time she tries to avoid, I'll put some kind of pressure on her and it all goes quiet here because this is where you'll catch her. So it might involve, we'll see how it all pans out, it might involve, you know, um, Ken going in there and just putting a bit of pressure while you're here with her. Yeah, I'll there's a safeguard between yeah. us. Yeah, so as I'm soon as you get that, I think, with her, as soon as she's caught, Done. She relaxes. Yes, she's gonna be scared, but you can do your magic. Once you once you've got a call, you can you can do your stuff, yeah. and you can improve. But catching her, she's a master of avoidance, mm -hmm. 
and the, the perception she's got now, she knows even the thought of it when you actually go in to catch. So that's what we're going to try and overcome. Do I say hand feeding's okay? She's never going to be ridden. She's 28. She's 28. So in her last days, years, whatever it is. So this is one exception. Yeah. That every time she's caught, you're going to give it, there's going to be someone in it for her. Uh, and I'm going to try and show her that today. Right, okay. So I'll come in here then, Tan. You might have to come, mm -hmm. come in a little bit. Uh, so, oh. <laughs> she's automatically, so I'm going to do nothing for a second now. She's experimented straight away. She remembers that, although there's been two sleeps. Would you say she remembers that? Yeah. That, that place? No, she looked at me. Zone, hmm? It's a safe zone. Safe zone. Mm. Now when she goes over there, I won't... What my plan is to try and catch her without roping her. Because mm -hmm. you're not going to be our roper. No. So for me, I could probably spend a couple of days coming in roping her and, uh, and really, you know, getting my stuff done, but I ain't going to help you. Uh, so, she, she's... Uh, Okay, so I, I, I'm going to just leave it for a second. I'm going to move away. Right? Ah, oh, she's hooked on to me. You see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's hooked on to me. Now I'm going to approach to see how far I can go towards her till she starts moving. Now, I've just asked her feet to go forward mm -hmm. and left her alone again. Because she went to back up, didn't she? Yeah. So every time she moves now, I'm going to put a little bit of pressure and it ends where the catching place will be. All right? So I can't come I'll, too close because I can't get you in. So now I'm going to go nearer. She backed up a bit. Now this is where you, you've got to be careful. That, right, safe zone again. She's where I need her. So I'm just going to... Don't want to back in up. Right. Now it's these arms that are doing it. I could, I could not move my arms and she probably wouldn't have moved. But what she's got to get over is that well, the only way we can catch is with our hands and arms. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try and um, make that. Now, obviously, with this video, we might have to edit because this would just be bored. People would just fall asleep and not learn, <laughs> then, would they? So we might have to clip and then, you know, but you're all seeing it real time. So, okay, she's quite uh, chilled there. Yeah. She just blew out. She's listening to um, it. She licked her lips a minute ago. Did she? Yeah. Okay, well. You know, I don't think the first time I came I could have done that. I've got that. Yeah? So that's, that's a good result. I'm not looking her in the eyes. Um, feed from me. Right? <laughs> she had me thumb. Ah! I've got another one here. Now, she's... Right, save zone. Save zone. That's a good. Back to safe zone. Right. Huh. Huh? We've got a bag now, in the car. There it is. So pressure, 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 safety. All right. This is making sense now. Yeah. yeah. So. And I'll just play with this. You have a lot of bikers come back. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't like this as much as carrots, does she? Oh. Do you know what? God does things in mysterious ways. Do you see that? What did just happen then? Did you see what happened? That, that there, because I taped that up, didn't I? Remember I taped it so yeah. I wouldn't catch on anything. But it'll break anyway, so it's not. Right, that caught on that, looked at. Yeah, I know. I that saw it. That caught on that. I saw it. She didn't panic. No. Wow. Now, she let me catch her, so now. And there's something in it for her. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now, we can practice approach once the. 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 the uh, feed rope's on. Because we can practice approach. I'll do it once the lead rope's on now. I'll do my stuff with her, touch her again, and all of that. Get her back to where we was, and then we're going to practice approach. Because I've got the lead rope, and that you can never tire, you can never tire without the clips that we do. They're safety. 
she she could definitely be one that would panic and pull back, hurt herself. You know, at this age, she could hurt herself. Just, do you understand what I'm saying? You don't want to. The worst thing is for her if she breaks string. You with me? Mm -hmm. If she does pull back and you tie the string and she breaks it, she'll be convinced she's got to do it every time. And when you've got to catch her, what might she do with the pressure? Oh, she'll pull against you. Pull against mm. you, and then you are knackered. Because it's human nature to follow her, to to try and hold on, and then she thinks you're chasing her. Because you're you're grasky a bit then. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So these, I'm going to show you how to use them when she's caught. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is what you're tied with. If you can get used to getting her tied, and she realises it's not worth her pulling back because if she does, it'll release a little bit. You can start the approach is sorted because she can't really break anything. Mm -hmm. So that's the plan, all right? So, uh, carrot two. So you see this? Lots of carrots. This rope on. Uh, in a minute. So, so that was uh, quite good for her, wasn't it? Yeah. So the second, you know, the second proper time. Uh, right, okay then. So we got caught now. Now she knows immediately she's caught. She knows I'm confident now, I'm not. You know what I mean? This is the way you've got to be. Uh, so I'm just going to move her feet around here. Right. Look towards me. I'm just testing how she deals with pressure if you were tying her on one of our clips. So a little bit of pressure, she's holding, a little bit of pressure, and then I'm releasing for the foot forward. She's got to know that she gets rid of this with a foot forward. Okay. So you've noticed again today, she's keeping me in the eye she wants you in. Yeah. That's what that's all about. Uh, we'll see now. Um, Send her over here. She's begging to go back to a safe place. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to see if I can get on this side of her uh, again. Yeah? Quite pleased with that. Would you say there's a difference in her since? Uh, a massive difference. Like, incredibly. Really? Yeah. You're not just saying that? No, I'm not supposed to wake up your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you were. <laughs> the last person to do that on her. <laughs> uh, so, I know it's boring, but just chilling now with her in that eye, you know, means everything. I'm putting her under no pressure. She's on the side she don't really want me on. Uh, you know, and if she was going to be a ridden horse, because she's, when they're so one-eyed like this, I would be lunging her in the other eye yep. and getting her tied in the other eye and just letting her rest in this eye. I've changed horses' eyes real quick for people. Yeah. They can almost favour, you've got to try and keep a balance because they can end up, you can do that much of a good job of them being relaxed in this eye and when they put you in the other eye, you start lunging them in the other eye because it's their choice. So if they put you in this eye, go oh, go on then, you can lunge for half an hour now. I remember you working with that, uh, was it the games pony that was always turning right and she had difficulty turning left because you know, that was there's plenty of, plenty of pints of beer been drunk since that, so I can't remember that. But, so. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you had to get her turning really? the other way. Yeah. And did it work? Yeah, well, of course it Ooh. did. <laughs> well, I don't know what would work, Brianna. Um, we'll do a bloopers one day, Tanya. Mm -hmm. That'd be funny, won't it? Like yesterday, doing the grass yeah, skiing. I, I, went, I, went, I went to work horse yesterday. It, that, again, that was a wild one. And she got a prob yeah, she got a problem. With her, where every time she let her out into the field, every time they couldn't use the lead rope because she'd just panic going through the gate because she'd been in a cattle crash. And every time she went through the, goes through the gate, they know she she's strong horse. Just pulls up, pulls out. They can't hold her. We careers around the field, and then and then that's it every time. So I did some groundwork with it, uh, with with her. I did trotting poles with her, send her over there, and really got a to a stage where she was really relaxed, really responsive. I said, do you know what? I don't think she'll be apt to do that with me now. She would give it a go. I said, pick a number between 10 and 20. She said, I don't know, 15? I said, right, 15 times I'm gonna go in the field and come back out. I said, but we'll only stop when I've had 15 good ones in a row. Mm. Right, it's a good system I use, that is. But in a row, it might, I might have to do 50 times. But it, when I get to 15, 
of going in and out of good attitude, it's sunk, sinking in. So, so I goes over to the gate, goes through. What happened? <laughs> I, how I kept on with this horse, but it was so important, so important for me not to let go. Mm -hmm. I did everything. This old man, somehow, I was like a young cowboy when I tell you. You were. Oh my it took God. me back. Now, it's not something that I'd really want to show, but I might show it on this video. If I hadn't have kept on to the horse, and the horse did fall over twice, didn't hurt itself, but it has got no future, it can't go nowhere, it can't do anything, it can't put it in the fields. So questions have to be asked, don't they? So I knew it was important, and I did it, and I stayed on, stayed on to the road. And I got the job done, and I managed to do all of those. In fact, I did about 15 yeah. in and I in and yeah. out. And, and that's really helped that horse. But And then uh, what happened in the end? You unclipped her yeah, and she just stood there. She just stood there. But so it, it, it was learned behaviour going in any field. It, it felt it needed to do that and get away to survive. Mm. And it just, do you understand? Jesus. That's going to mean the world to her. <laughs> I'm glad she's done that. Tell you what. That was good going, wasn't it? I'm glad she's done that. Uh oh, wow. Oh, ooh, that was good. Well, that was good. That wasn't she? Yeah. But she... She should keep pulling with her life to save her life. Yeah. Everything she had. But not on my watch did she get away, did she? <laughs> <laughs> she nearly did. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad she didn't. <sighs> And they're going like it's old grandma's horse now. Yeah. Now it's important I leave her. You see? I left her, she never left me. Yeah. If you can get that one done. Right. Okay. So okay, she's had a little break, we've all chatted, not been looking at her for a while. She seems she seems cool with that. I just Went to her again, approached her, and she took the carrot from me again. So there was some, something in that. Now, what you might see me do with the odd horse is I wrap my hand. It's something that no one should ever do. Mm -hmm. um, no one should ever wrap a hand. Now, I'm experienced enough, sometimes I need to, else it slides through. So I would never say to anyone, ever do that. Okay? Mm -hmm. Occasionally you'll see me do it, you see Bob Brownman do it, you see a lot of my peers, because of their experience, they know how to let it go, okay? So it's bad horsemanship for the average person to ever run, okay? Yeah. You might see me do it. Just so you know, you don't, you don't emulate that, mm -hmm. okay? So this is where I touched her last time. So we'll get back up on, on here, bring her in to her station. Right then. So she's gonna have a little flinch here, right? See the flinch? But that's not as bad as it was, is it? No. Okay, again, she can't take her head that way, so I've got to be careful she doesn't throw her head this way. Because remember what we said about getting your head hit. Yeah. Okay, so so that that's that's better quickly. I wouldn't pat her, I wouldn't pat her at all. Mm -hmm. She's already, uh, if you're ever gonna pat a horse, use the cup of your hand. So it sounds like a pat, but it's a cup, that's different, okay? Okay, so I think that's that's good, isn't it? Huh? Mm -hmm. well, that's good. Isn't it, girl? Right, another carrot. I'm going to over carrotize her. <laughs> right, so. Go to a safe place. 
Yeah. There you go, kid. There you go. So, every time now, we're going to carotter. But like I say, don't advocate it with most horses. With her, I'm going to make an exception. Isn't, isn't, uh, so here, she's got a bit out of cope with me. Touching her there. Again, I'm wary of her head coming this way. So there, there, I'm going to have to carry on being quick with my hat there. That was better, that was better, that was better. Right, okay, all right. Now you see how she's wary? Yeah. Wary of any other, because I built up her trust in her now. So I'm trying to do my hands, because what's going to have to happen, this is the catch, isn't it? That's the catch. So I'm going to do it a million times in a minute, when, I've got, when I'm in here with her. Mm -hmm. yeah? That is where the problem is, that. So, okay. So now I have got my feet in here, and that's a different job, isn't it? Look at that. Right then. Okay, so, not in my pocket yet. I'm deliberately not being, you notice I'm not creeping around in that. That's the difference, I'm not creeping around her. Right, so this is gonna try and remain loose, okay? So, she let me move in, even my shoulders were going in then. There, caught. No, no, not. There, caught. Nice job. I can start off this for you, so she knows the brush. You see how I'm, I'm breathing out a lot? I go, and, and they recognise that as well. So, I'll give her a bit of a brush here. So, that's okay. Like so, she's quite relaxing now about being brushed, isn't she? Yeah. You know? Probably the last thing she's learned about the species that we're looking after is the first thing she should have known. Mm -hmm. Because she's done all her life. Being, things are symptoms of course. Something's happened, surely, to cause, the, to be petrified of humans. Yeah. You know, catching her, being around her. So who knows what's happened. You can speculate all your life. But if she'd have known, it's a shame, isn't it? She's, an old she's girl. Stunning, she's yeah. an old girl, and this is the last thing she, the first thing she should have known. <laughs> no better would her life have been, you know. Otter, for me. So I'm gonna look at her feet here. Release when I push her back. Release for each foot, right? There, one release. So one foot forward, release. One foot back, release. And just keep doing this for a while. Release. Because. Especially with a horse that's petrified and nervous as this one, she starts to think, well, this all just really is information from the other species. And he's not out to kill me. I just gotta do what I have to with my feet. Okay? So back up again. I always tuck for back and cut for forward. Yeah. Forward. Thank you. There and again. There. So she, because she's got a, knows a bit of you in me, so I've got to get you to do a little bit of that as well. Poor you. What? Poor you. <laughs> no. Back up. So it's almost overdoing of this now. Just showing her that this is information. Now, can I influence her feet forward? There, stop. As soon as I put my hand up, she stopped, she licked and chewed. Now I'm going to see whether I can get her feet to go forward now. So I'm going to suggest, look at the space behind her. Cluck. She thought forward. There, she went forward a step. So I've, I've quit for a second. And this is the best way to start any young horse with lunging. Not with whips or anything, just suggest, set it up and wait. So there, there's a suggestion. There. 
She just went over the step. Go again. There's the light. She's been relaxing with this now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so forward. There. And I'm gonna just do this a few times till she goes forward on my suggestion that I don't have to use my drive. Okay? Mm -hmm. So forward. See, that took, I don't know how many, she, she went then with just my suggestion, mm -hmm. Move forward, didn't have to use my drive hand. She's gone back to her safety spot before. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, we still, although I've been doing it there, I still don't want to lose this spot for you. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now, am I going to be able to catch her? Yes, I can. I'm going in quicker now with my, so I'm catching her there. There you go, touching her. Not much flinching there. I'm leaning in because I know you're going to end up leaning in. We almost need to lean away, but it's our human nature not to. Right, okay. So I think that's pretty good. I'm in. I'm going to lower her head now a little bit. So I'm going to remember to back her up. I look at her feet. I'm not looking at her now. I tut. There. She's picking it up real quick. So she might, you know. Right then, so, I'm gonna work on this for a while now. Try and get her down here with me. He says, oh, I don't like the idea of that. So I'm gonna work through this with her. I've gotta be a bit careful of some of the look she's giving me she doesn't cave me out with her front foot here, but it's really good if she can see that I'm trusting her um, to come down here with me. Just for split seconds here. And now and again she'll say, oh, because remember, she's always head up mm -hmm. and wide-eyed. Um, so this is totally um, not not in her vocabulary to, to, to relax around me, around a person there. The more I can lower her head, oh, oh, you feel it? Huh? There, oh, that just split <laughs> seconds. She's finding peace there for just a second with me. Huh? It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Look, she said, oh my God, that feels freaking Unbelievable. Licked and chewed. Uh, bring her down again. Uh, uh, again, we're in this eye, but we take it for now. Look where she is now. It's good, isn't it? Mm. Good, isn't it? There you go. Right, okay. Break now, turn that off a minute. So we got to the state, that, that little spot now, where um, she's got to ha have been touched by someone else. And Rihanna, she really don't want to be on this film, right? But we'll see how it all goes. <laughs> uh, Rihanna's going to have to come and have a touch now. Now, now don't be upset if things are not... I, I built something in her now. Because I'm so experienced with this, mm. I've built and I've done so much you haven't even seen with my breathing and just all sorts of stuff going on here for her to be able to trust me. Now, in some ways, there's a negative to someone like me getting this done, but it would never get done without me anyway, would it? Mm. But there is a negative because you can almost, and I've seen it quite a bit, you can make a horse, and you're not a fool, but it's, there's a saying, a horse, a horseman can, can install into a horse not to suffer faults. It happens with riding horses that buck and things like that, and then a horseman will get involved, get his job done. The horse completely puts faith in that rider. Job done, lovely job, and what happens when the owner gets on? They know the smell, they know the look, they know, they know <laughs> not on your never. You're not what I need for support, it's him. Mm. 
So you can in some ways make, so it won't be perfect to start with, no. but I'm here to try and get over that. We're over the hill, now we've got to go over the mountain with you doing it. Mm -hmm. um, does that make sense? Yeah, completely. Okay, right. So do you wanna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold her here now. You got a carrot ready? We've got to get to where you can and give her a carrot. Don't look in her eyes. Just open your hand there. Right? She looked at me. Right? Put it through there. Come on. Flap your hand. There you go. Lovely job. That is a big hit. That's the first time she ever took feed from you. Yeah. That's a big hit. Did you see how she was a bit wary? Yeah. Right? Not as wary as I thought. Mm. Better than I thought. Yeah, We're but she's known Rhiannon has looked after her for years, hasn't eight she? Years. Eight she's years. Eight years. So, yes. you know, she. Um, but mm. she just couldn't put herself to, to allow them to touch, you know. And the more she didn't, the more she was convinced that's what she should do to survive. Mm. That's what happens. Mm. Okay. Uh, right then, so lots of. Advance and retreat, mm -hmm. right? Don't be too bashful, no. don't be too timid, okay? She took it, mm -hmm. retreat. Um, didn't we have apples, Tan? I've got loads in there. Go, go and get them and just shut it up for a second, go and get the apples. here next time and just stay around so she feels comfortable with you being here. Okay. Just one in there, so just have purpose though. You know, just lead her around and back to here. Right, lead her around and back. That's it. Lead her around. Don't look at her, just where you're going, really. Bring her back to here. Bring her back to here. So now you're emulating me. Because now I'm going to give her. Now take her back round. That's it. And yeah, any movement, a little clutch, good for her. Don't look at her if you can help it. Just be, you know, have focus where you're going, really. Do you know what I mean? Right. Now then, just what I want you to do. Bring, bring, bring her here a bit more. Cluck her on. Right now, right. Hold it loose and just stroke her neck one time, and then walk away. Walk away. Yes. Go and do that now a few times. Take her round. Take her round, bring her back, give her a stroke. We'll give her another carrot now to give her. Uh, I've got one. Do like that. Okay. Now, bring her closer here, look at her feet and cluck her. Right, right, stroke her neck. There, nice and gentle. Now walk away. Walk around. Now where are you going? Just, just, it's like it's old grandma. There you go. Now I'm going to give you a brush. Right. To the flinch. Just until she stops there. Good girl. Not too hard, yeah? Just to stop with the brush. There you go. All right. And kneel down there a little bit. Uh -oh, I'll come out of the way. Just leave her alone when she's low with her head. So, a little bit of pressure and release when she comes down. A little bit of pressure, a little bit of pressure. There. And then just keep doing that till she accepts 
and lowers. Yes. There. And then she goes up again. You with me? There's no pressure when she's down with you. How's that? Just stay there if you can with her. There. And you can build on that, you see? That's something you can practice. Yeah. Um, a little bit lower, maybe. Think that. There. You see how? Look. That's a bit more. There. And leave her alone when she's down with you. So that's something that's going to really help you, Brie. Yeah. If you can practice that. So how does that feel then? Do you feel like we got somewhere today? Definitely. Yeah? Massive break. Okay. Um, right. Now, what we're going to do now, if you just lower it just a touch more. There. And then just breathe nicely. So that's something you practice. Right, okay. Just gently come up now and come, come to me. Right, there you go. Now, the biggie now is, the biggie is, I'm gonna unclip her, I'm gonna give her a second, I'm gonna see if I can catch her, give her a carrot, and then we're gonna see if you can. Okay. You agree with that, or? Yeah, I'll go and get some more carrots too. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we're getting her to a happy place, giving her a carrot, and catch it. Perfect. Happy place. Carrot. Little touch. And then away. Pressure. Imagine her going to there. Alright? Pluck her on a bit. Pluck her on. Yeah, now walk up to her, give her that. There. Now, really, we've got to pressurise her into this corner. Look, look at her back end. Tap, yeah, then, we'll, we'll take you. As soon as she goes, your hand comes down. So, do you want another carrot here? Right, there you go. So, go up to her, give her the carrot, and then when she has the carrot, don't give it her there. What you've got to remember is you give it a so pressurise her into a corner, pluck her on. Now, go up to her. Right? And then there you go, you got it, you've got it, girl. Give her a rub, a little rub. Now give her the last carrot and walk away. And that's her last memory of it. Oh you done it. Yeah, well done. <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel about that then, killer? Do you think you could practice that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, well done. Hi guys. I only popped up right at the end uh, with this video. I'll just uh, look through it now before we press to make it. And I think you'll agree there's uh, there's a lot lot taking place there. Uh, not just the horse um, people. A lot of a lot of okay. A lot of the videos that we do, are, you know, on Mac and uh, and the training thing. That that's a little bit different. I think when we go out to these horses that uh, are in trouble and the owners are in trouble. It's not just the horse, it's peep, it's the peep. It's the whole package, isn't it? And this one, more powerful than most. Uh, <clears throat> this was yesterday, um, when we, when did we go? No, it was today. It was today, <laughs> it was today we went there, wasn't it? This one. It was today. Right, we went there today and Tanya's just told me, and is that, is that, happened a few times where I'm doing finishing a video off and something happened we'll have a message or whatever Tanya just said oh wow there's a there's a post gone on um Re Rhiannon's because we was wondering how, how she would get on um you know how, how she would do and I, I said Let, probably leave it till tomorrow but I had a, an idea she'd she'd try tonight so although um there is some sadness in this uh in this video but there's a lot of happiness as well and you know what, Tanya, Tanya's going to read it out in a minute. There is loads of happiness. And I think with this video as well, there's loads to be learnt again. I mean, I watched it through and I'm learning. <laughs> you know, but yeah, loads to be learnt. A lot, lot, lot of people can be helped by this without a doubt. You know, I think it's that kind of video. So Tanya will, will just um, uh, end this with, with what Rhiannon's writ tonight. But please, again... 
you know, probably more than any other video again. I mean, I say it a lot, but can you share it? Because it is going to help people without a doubt. And it's so uh, great of Reed to try. Well, she always tries to help people with the, with 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 issues and, and, she, and had, she has agreed to everything we've put in it. Oh well, she wanted it, you know, yeah, guys, and that, of her you know that's health, and you know if uh, this helps anybody. Yeah. This is fantastic. Okay, so do you wanna? I will. Right. This okay. is tonight, then, so guys. This is a little question on Pony's bedtime, and Pearl let me catch her three times. Led her around the stable and had a stroke. After dinner, she normally just shoots out, but she was happy enough just to walk her to the yard, have another stroke, and then let her go. It feels strange being able to stroke her, but so nice. I can show her now that I care for her and love her. Yeah, awesome. How about that? I think we ought so to have a little shot. Me and Tanya's going to have a little, this little is a, shot. This is 43, and we've been told to put the little. Uh, uh, what is it on top? Like a little Baileys, isn't it? Little Baileys. Right, okay, cheers, guys, lovely. so cheers. Great job. Yeah, thank you. Well done. And good luck, Rhiannon. Yeah. See you soon, guys. Mm -hmm.